And then you may have a daughter who has been brought up properly, maybe not to the extent that she should have been brought up in, in the environment at home, but she comes home and says, Father, I found someone, but he's not a Muslim, but I want to marry him. And this happened a couple of years ago. I had a call from a Muslim brother. It was a number I couldn't recognize. In fact, it was a withheld number. When I answered the phone, he was crying, weeping on the phone. A grown-up man crying on the phone. I asked him, what's happened? He said, uh, he told me which town he came from. I won't tell, mention the name of the town. He said, please help me. Because I watch Dawud Islam Madhini channel and I know about Dawud Islam. I want you to give me some tawbees. Help me. I said, what's happened? He said, my daughter has run away from home. My daughter has run away from home. He was crying on the, like a child on the phone. But listen to next. If you think that's bad enough, listen to what he says next. He says, she's run away, not with a Muslim, with a non-believer. A non-believer. And if you think that's bad enough, listen to next what he says. She said to me, she said, see, she said to her father, that I've decided to leave Islam and join the faith of this man. The reason being is because this man is saying that if you do not leave Islam, I won't marry you. And I love him so much, I want to marry him. So he, was, he said that she has left Islam, she's run away from home, and I don't know where she is now. And he was crying like a child on the phone. And then we think, why are we in this state today? The reason we are in this state today is because we have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten our deen. We have been sent to guide others, not to become misguided by them.